Thank you, Jen. As I said, Jen really led the charge for decades to stop that reactor being built and knows that story inside out. So we currently have one site being assessed for the National Radioactive Waste Dump. But when this proposal started in its current incarnation, there were 28 nominations. That got whittled down to six on a short list and then it got knocked off down to the one, which is Nelly's country. But when there was the six sites, I think we saw an amazing display of solidarity from people from completely different walks of life who would never have met, were thrust together by this government trying to talk about having a nuclear waste dump on one of six areas around the country. And we did a joint lobbying trip to Canberra. And I think some of the friendships that were formed from those six communities are gonna, are gonna last absolutely forever. Because people knew and understood intimately the stress of waking up every single day thinking that they're going to build a waste dump in your community or in your country. And we're really lucky today to have some friends and some guests that have driven from Hill End, which was one of those six sites, hours and hours in Sydney, just to join us here today to talk about their part of the story. Here's Robin and Jeff. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity to speak today. As Nat said, my name is Robin Rayner, and together with my husband, Jeff, we own, we own and run Pominara Maruno Stone at Hill End, a beautiful historical village approximately 75 kilometres from Bathurst in central west New South Wales. On the 13th of November last year, our whole life as we knew it was turned upside down. We found out by a media release that the property directly across the road from us, 1.5 kilometres from our family home, was, had been volunteered for a proposed nuclear waste dump and it had made the short list of six sites around Australia. The stress that this caused us and the time that was taken from our farm to fight this instead of running our family business was beyond imaginable. It has taken us until just recently to finally get our life back. Our family suffered, our health suffered, but we were determined to see this through. The Department of Innovation and Science didn't care about us or any of the other affected families through this whole process. The manner in which they conducted themselves for such an important issue as nuclear waste, they went about it all the wrong way and they still are. They have learnt nothing from the mistakes made. They just keep making more. Once their decision was made to name one site, being the Flinders Ranges in South Australia, they walked away from the mess and the stress they created at the other five sites and left people such as ourselves to pick up our life as though nothing had happened. It has made our community stronger and closer. Some of the other affected sites were not as lucky. The division that this caused in their communities will, like nuclear waste, last for generations. Our neighbours and the community of Hill End and surrounding areas were totally against the proposed nuclear waste dump from the start and nothing was going to change our minds. They were not going to sell out the environment or, or the history of Hill End for the almighty dollar. The community was not going to be divided by the promise of bribes or so-called community benefits they could see past the tactics of the government department. The Central West Councils of Bathurst, Orange, Mudgeen, Lithgow all show, showed their support against this proposal. There were a number of other organisations that come out and supported us. We had family and friends support too, but what really kept us going in this fight was the support and help we received from total strangers. People such as Nat and many, many others who were there when we needed it to help us protect our home, our livelihood and most importantly, a clean and safe future for our children and their children to come. That is why we are here today to support Regina, Nellie, 
and the whole Mackenzie family, along with the Flinders Rangers mob, to show them that they are not alone. This process has been flawed and mismanaged from the beginning and should be stopped right now. Enough unnecessary stress and anguish has been forced on this family and someone needs to be held accountable for this. The message we need to send is to get it right and stop messing with people's lives and livelihood. No means no. How many times do we have to say it? Everyone needs to realise this affects us all, not just South Australia. Black, white Australians, we stand together against this. People power will win in the end. Don't give up. Thank you.